both offenses are so potent. Let's just, if we get the score here, let's just end it right here by going for yeah, pl bar plus, two. Plus on the road, state ranked team, you know, you're the underdog. I, I think it all points in favor of going for two, but you've got to get it in the end zone first. And let's see if they can do it. Oh boy, hang on tight. Out of the shotgun, Woods to Sandridge. Behind Kroll, big block by Kroll, and Sandridge fights his way forward for about four. Second down and six coming up for Republic. And what, what I like is Republic just sticking to, you know, what, what has gotten here. So they didn't try to do anything fancy or something that they don't normally do or they only practice sometimes. They just line it up, same formation, same play that has gotten them to this point in the game. So we're in overtime, despite what the scoreboard at the bottom, they've still got fourth quarter up on the scoreboard, but this is overtime and Republic with a second down and six from the 21. He needs to snap. Whew. Sandridge ahead inside the 20, down to the 22. Wow, I was rather down to the 17. I, I was I was ready for a flag to be thrown because White did not get that snap off before the game clock went to zero. It was zero before he snapped the ball. Third and two. The pitch to Ellison, he's got room, and he's got the first down. Inside the 15, and the Tigers move the chains. First and 10, Tigers trailing by seven. And the option has been there for the Republic offense all evening. I think only one time did the Nixa defense stuff Republic when they ran the option. It has been something that they have definitely perfected and gotten a lot better at. First and 10 from the 14. In motion, Askew. Fake it to Sandridge. Woods makes two defenders run into one another, gets to the edge, cuts it up, and is pulled down around the 10-yard line. Thought for a second he was gonna get to turn the corner, but they strung him out. So it's only a short gain. Well, he gained four. Second down and six from the 11. White did a great job the 10. of picking up a big chunk of yards there. What looked like was possibly going to be, you know, no gain. Was able to keep moving and getting around the corner there to pick up four yards. Sandridge, big hole, cuts it back inside the five. Pushes his way ahead, and it's first and goal, I believe, for the Tigers. Hard to tell the angle of the chain and the spot. They are very close to a first down. Yeah, he got cross. They put they put first down on the scoreboard. He's going to be, it's going to be really close, but I think he got it. Not the greatest spot. I think they're going to have to measure. Yeah. They had put first down on the scoreboard, but he's just barely short. If he is, if he is short, it's third down. Again, the Tigers could either, if they score, they could kick the extra point to tie, or they could like go for the looks like he got two it. Yep. point conversion first down. and win it. And he got the first down. It's first and goal from the four. Republic has played its best game of the year, its best game of the decade. And they give it to Sandridge, and he spun off a man. The pile wouldn't move when he hit it, and he's to the line of scrimmage, maybe, maybe a slight loss. It's going to be second and goal. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it's going to be about a half a yard Lost there. 
The ball, the ball is on as close as close to our eye side. You've got on the part of the field that's the farthest away from us is the larger side of the field, the open side of the field. I think maybe you would try to bounce something outside with all that green space out there. They pitch oh, it no. and they over pitched it, but Ellison gathered it in and he reaches and he's not in. They say oh. he's short. They say he's just short and it's gonna be third and goal it from inside the one. It looked like he reached across the goal line there. He might have been, his leg might have been down before he did. Great job to gather it in. I think his knee maybe hit Man. as it was reaching. Way he could get that. Oh boy. Third and goal. QB sneak. That's what I do. QB sneak. What do I know? Let's go O-line. Third and goal inside the one. Touchdown. They are. Wait yep. for the signal. There it is. And it is. They're in. They're in. And they're a two-point conversion away from beating Nixa. 35-34. And there's no kicker coming on this field, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to go for it. They will go for the win. Win or lose, I love this call. So do I. Up to the line they go. This is the game. Come on, O-line. Oh, timeout. Timeout. Rex Road is wide to the far side. In motion, Sandridge, they're going to call a timeout. They were going to see if they could get Nixa to jump and get half the distance. Woods is up under center for this one. He's going to throw it. He does. It's Capillas! Yes! The Capillas! Republic Tigers, 36, Nixa, 35. Congratulations to the Republic Tigers. We wish you the best of luck on the rest of the campaign for 2022. Next week, they play and host Carl Jefferson. The football fans, we love Friday Night Football. We still love our What a celebration Eagles. and what a win for the Tigers. They beat Nixa. 36 to 35. They didn't even put the yeah, there. They finally, uh, put, they it finally put the two points up on the scoreboard. <laughs> they were in shock. Republic beats state rank Nixa. And they pull off the biggest win since I've been doing Republic Tiger sports. What a win for the Tigers. We're going to wrap this up because I got to get down and talk to some players and coaches after that huge win over Nixa. 36-35, the Tigers are winners. Thanks for watching Tiger Football on Republic Tiger Sports.